What's up YouTube, Mike here from Techno GI and today I'm moving to part six of my seven part series on seven great apps for doing video editing on the iPad Pro. Now on today's app, I'm continuing on with my workflow of creating a great thumbnail and this is one I use sometimes. You don't have to use it, but it just depends what you want to do. And this one is called Photoshop Mix. This is a great photo editing app. And the good thing about this one is it allows you to add layers, various layers. So it's good if you want to make a thumbnail and you want to add like a watermark with whatever your logo is. And it just gives you so many other um, awesome little photo editing tools. So it's a great app. Now this is one that it's free to download, but um, I'm honestly not sure if you have to have a Creative Cloud subscription or not. I just happen to have one because I use Adobe Premiere Pro sometimes. So it's included in my subscription. So I don't know if this one is honestly free or not because it just asked me to sign in with my Adobe credentials. I did and it works just fine. So it's something you'll have to try. Um, I think it's free, but I honestly can't guarantee it. So you'll have to try it for yourself. So. Worst case, you can download it, and if it's not free, don't use it. Um, but even if it's only a couple bucks, I will assure you that it's totally worth it once I show you some of these features. So again, this is not a tutorial. It's just gonna be a quick demo on how I use Photoshop Mix and what it can do for you. So let's get started. Okay, now continuing on with my seven part series. Today we are looking at Photoshop Mix. Now this is another free app made by Adobe. And when you first open the app, this is what you get. It's going to have any um, projects that you've already done here in the queue. And of course, um, you can choose one of these, or you can just hit the plus button on the left and add another one. Like I said, this is a free app from Adobe. Um, you can sign in with Facebook or whatever, or if you have a Creative Cloud account, then you can use that. So again, when you hit Add New, it's going to bring up your library from your iPad as far as your different photos. So uh, we'll pick YouTube Thumbs just to give you a demo real quick. Now, so what I use this app for is to add layers because you can add layers to photos or if you want to add a thumbnail. So it's pretty simple. So we'll just pick this. And again, going with my workflow of creating thumbnails, first I use Avery, then I move to Typorama, and then I use this sometimes to refine. So as you can see on the right, um, you've got the plus button so you can hit this and you can add any other photo that you want on this so we'll pick this so if I want to use this to make a watermark and you can use your fingers pinch to zoom make it as small as you want and put it anywhere you want on the photo and it's simple as that and when you're done you just go up here to the right and you hit save now along with this there's of course a ton of features you can do with this. Like I said, this is not a tutorial, just a demo, but I'll just show you along the bottom. Obviously, we all know what crop is. Uh, adjust, you can adjust the different, uh, basically the picture. So shadows, clarity, saturation, contrast, you name it. So then you've got looks, which again, it lets you add different filters. So if you want to change the filters, you know, black and white, landscape, you name it, but it gives you quite a few options to choose from. So we'll go with a natural. And when you're done with that, you just hit the little check mark. And then you've got cut out, which this allows you to essentially cut something out of the photo. So you can use uh, an Apple Pencil, you can use your finger, uh, you can hit smart, or you can do auto. And the feathers, how you kind of choose what, how big you want the uh, the brush to be that you're using. So, for instance, uh, if I want to cut out, you know, just this stick, and you can refine it, and it'll save just that. So obviously, I don't want to do that, but so I'm going to hit back. So that's the cool thing is if you make changes, then you hit the back button, and you can revert back to what you were doing. And apologize as usual. Uh, it's busy here in Afghanistan, so we got helicopters in and out of the place. So. But that is essentially what this tool is for. Like you said, say you want to just cut your face out, and then you can turn that into a picture or a thumbnail or whatever, which is pretty cool. So blend, it just allows you to um, pick more, um, I guess, 
overlays. So, and again, this is one of the things where you're just going to have to play play with it. So, if you want to, uh, for instance, darken something, um, you pick that, and you can mess with the opacity, and you can use your finger to tweak stuff. So, I'm going to hit X because I don't really want to do that. And you've got upright, which I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, upright. So this is uploading it to the cloud. So if you've got a create a cloud account, um, you can actually start working on this project and finish it on your desktop. So if you've got Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, and all that, and you've got the create a cloud subscription, you can save this project to the cloud and then open it on any of your devices, which is pretty cool. So. It's a fairly seamless transition. I don't use any of those. I just use Adobe Premiere Pro. So for me, I've got an account, but I haven't played with that function yet. And then shake reduction and then fill. So we'll see. Yeah, it gives you a little warning here if you want to continue or not. Okay. And yeah, so this allows me to um, paint essentially on this so if you want to draw on it with your Apple Pencil or whatever so I don't want to save that so I'll just hit the X and then as simple as that whenever you're done with doing all your stuff at the bottom um, again you hit your save button and it allows you to save it to your Creative Cloud library like I mentioned Instagram, Facebook, you name it, save to Lightroom, send to Photoshop or save to Camera Roll so this is a fairly simple app um, not a ton of features but it gives you what you need and I like how you can continuously add layers I think there's a limit to the layers I think it's maybe five so um, I'm just gonna keep adding layers just till it runs out just to see So I got that layer so here's a fourth layer you can move that around here's a fifth layer I'm curious how many layers it'll um, let you use there's yeah that's five layers so five layers so that's still pretty good like I said this is free app so you can add uh, f essentially your main photo and then you got four layers on top of that for a total of five layers which is pretty cool so hopefully this helped you guys out it's a very uh, short and simple but like I said this is a good app for what I use it for which again is just tweaking YouTube thumbnails but you can do a lot more than just that so if you guys enjoyed this and helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks. Now this is a great little video. Or...